Lights down the straight. Race number two is uh, up around the uh, the bend here. 1,600 metres, uh, class four contest for the second. More than lucky heads them. He's a beaten favourite. He beaten a short head last time out. Uh, that was behind Win for Charity. First Fontaine, enormous honour, also behind Win for Charity. Ambitious pins yet to win in 14. Maisha Stuck won here over the 1,400 metres last season. Win for Charity goes up five points for that uh, win. Error Luminance has won here over the 1,800 metres. This might be a bit sharp. And down to Indigenous Star, his first try. This course and distance. Yeah, it looks a fairly open contest on paper. Win for Charity, of course, um, was a winner last start and he just sat in behind the speed. He's going to have to work a little bit, you would think, from barrier number 14. Triumph and Light should be handy. Perhaps Indigenous Star can be up on the speed. If you go back and look at his recent trial at the Valley, he may take closer order. What do we do with this horse? Enormous honour. He works always really well in the morning. He's only won once from 39 starts, but he's been placed, you know, 15 times. He just doesn't want to win, but he always runs a nice race. And I know we've all been sucked into him in the past, and, you know, he, he continues to work well. Uh, two pieces from Indigenous Star. Joe Marrera aboard this one. I thought he's got this horse going very nicely indeed. He'll take them out on race day and uh, he's uh, stretching out nicely on the all-weather. And this was back on the 3rd of October. Backed it up on the 18th of October, so just the other day, and another nice piece. So he had a really good work out on the 3rd, backed off him a little bit, and then he's had this nice gallop going into this race. So he's been really well prepared going into this contest. Mm, I think he's an interesting runner for sure, right yeah. down at the bottom of the weights uh, there. We'll start off, though, uh, with this uh, win for charity. Win last time out. He's got a number in against him again. The weather was obviously uh, on the uh, the moderate side on that day, but uh, more than lucky for First Fontaine, enormous honour, and a triumph and light all coming out of this race too. For a run between them, Jolly Gaines win for charity. The show, First Fontaine, hit a home run, come to the outside. The leader, Dragon Dance, Triumphant Light, win for charity up the inside. Enormous honour, not much between them. More than lucky, continues to grind away with hit a home run. Win for charity, darted through nearer the inside. Established a decent break. Hit a home run, enormous honour. More than lucky and then play it. It's win for charity in front. Vincent Ho's got them covered. More than lucky, dives late, couldn't get there. Win yeah, he looked like he was going to get there, or wasn't going to get there, and then almost did. So that was uh, more than lucky at last time out. Ridden by Karis T. We'll get his thoughts if he can turn it around on Sunday. Yeah, last time he... I think just before the race, a big storm came, came by and sort of just gave the track a little bit of, of that, uh, that heavy going at that moment. And I don't think he, he really appreciated that uh, because he was travelling nicely, but uh, he did not cook enough well with me. Uh, so, but he did hit the line very strong. Um, but I think that's the only only thing that got him beat last time. Looking at the race for Sunday, barrier 12 doesn't look ideal. Well, uh, with him, he, I, I, I really don't mind because he's he's a big horse and and he comes from from uh, he can be in the pace, you know. Uh, even when he won before, he he had a, he had a wide gate and. Uh, and he overcame the draw. So I don't think there's a big worry about the gate. Uh, he's, uh, we've got the long back straight uh, to make a decision. Uh, but the horse is going well, so let's just hope he can bring, him, bring back the win again. This is obviously a horse from Frankie Law's stable. Frankie's going particularly well. He's up the top of the trainer's premiership at the moment. You've had a bit of success with him. Why do you think Frankie's having the success at the moment that he is? Yeah, well, uh, of course, I've of course, uh, had a good relationship with Frankie working with... Uh, with John, um, well, of course he's he's come from John's side, so he must be he must be a lot of experience, and of course he's been around, and he's a good guy, you know, he's a good person, and, and um, I think he deserves success actually. Uh, he, he he really he really put 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 in the work, so I think the winners he's having, you could see how how he's already improved on many many horses already. So it's just about time when he start getting those really good horses and. I think it's going, to be a, it's going to be a trainer that everybody will want to ride for one day. All right, so more than lucky, £3 turnaround for that uh, Karras gave him a legitimate excuse there with the rain mm. falling, said he didn't like that and still ran well. So um, he's only got £1 more to carry. Uh, I think he's going to be competitive. Yeah, I think he'll, he'll run well. Um, just the awkward draw put me off a little bit, but I've just ignored that race because, you know, you're not going to get... Condi well, touch wood, we're not going to get conditions <laughs> mm. like that on Sunday, are we? I'm not the person to be looking at all for an answer. <laughs> You but think I, I would think not. No, yeah. no, you'd think not. Uh, great treasure. What of his chances? Um, steps up in trip hit from the uh, the 14 up to the 1600 metres. Uh, minor placing was this run. He, he looked like he, he wanted a bit further, but um, 
and say he hasn't uh, hit the board yet uh, with a step up in trap. Yeah, it's interesting. They, they are stepping up to the 16. He should get a nice run in behind from barrier five. I'm probably more interested in ambitious pins because I think there's still more juice in the lemon there from ambitious pins. He's been uh, a little bit costly at times, but I thought he ran on nicely. I think the mile will suit him. Yeah, I'm actually going to go both of them. I'm going to go yeah. ambitious pins and great treasure. I think Armin Lee's done a really good job with great treasure. He was a horse that had a lot of problems 12 months ago and he had a good end to last season and has held his form going through. All right, one more to have a look at and this is uh, Indigenous Star right down the bottom of the weights here. Wide gates, but you can see here he got back and really finished strongly behind Mordecus. He did. Uh, it's been something that he's done throughout his whole career, hasn't it? Um, getting home late, seven starts, two thirds and a fourth. He's gone to the valley for a trial under Joe Marrera and actually sat handy. Now, whether or not he can do that on race day is questionable, but if he can, it's going to give him a lot better chance, isn't it? Because we know he can hit the line OK. I think the step up to a mile will really suit this horse, actually, just with his running style. He, he, hit, he does hit the line nicely, and a mile looks good for him. Yeah, different tempo, yeah. I think, will suit as well. Light weights. I'm expecting a big run, uh, but what do you think, Paul? Yeah, I've got, a, I've got Indigenous Star on top. I think uh, he, he up to the mile's good, and uh, he should be well suited by this run. Joe Marrera aboard is always a plus. He is getting down on the weights, but uh, with Joe aboard, I think he can run well. Um, ambitious pins. Now, he did win his races from the front in New Zealand. I know he gets back a bit, and a lot of it's just the way he races here, because he, he does miss the start a few times. But if he ever does jump well, I'd like to see him get to the front at some stage, because uh, I think it'd be interesting to see how he does go. Be change of tactics. Uh, First Fontaine, of course, uh, with the blinkers on for the first time. And look, I couldn't bet him totally, my old friend association fans. I've still got him in there. I know he's a monkey, kicks out, he plays up. But he's like a normal sonner. He catches you all the time. And uh, I couldn't totally bet him. So I went 14, 6, 2, 5, exotics the way to go. Paul, your loyalty is <laughs> unrivaled. Um, I'm going ambitious pins. This is an open race. Great treasure. I'm following that form line. More than lucky, Indigenous star. 6, 4, 1, 14. There are others in the race I think have got a chance too so um, it's it's a good race for exotics it is hopefully it's a good race for a best bet as well we'll find <laughs> out won't we all right two races uh, down there for sunday's program quick break uh, we'll come back with race three right after this <laughs>